morning tabernacle worship welcome to our online daily devotion and uh, today i would like to share about that god remains faithful god remains faithful and uh, the text is taken from psalm 77 verses 9 to 12 and i'm reading from the new new living translation it goes this way has god forgotten to be gracious has he slammed the door on his compassion and i said this is my fate the most high has turned his hand against me but then i recall all you have done O lord i remember your wonderful deeds of long ago i remember they are constantly in my thoughts i cannot stop thinking about your mighty works amen you know, with everything when uh, is up and going, right? We say that God is good. When our plans are going smoothly, we say that God is faithful. Yeah. Yet we know that uh, not everything in life go as according to how we plan it, isn't it? Sometimes when the rubber really hits the road really hard, it's true, isn't it? It can be quite hard for us to swallow the fact that God is still on the throne, and He is still in control. And that, you know, I mean, it's very difficult to acknowledge, yeah, when we're going through the difficult, tough situations in life. And yet we can still acknowledge that, you know, yeah, God cares for us. And he's, we, He always has, has us in His best interest. You know, perhaps there are moments in our life, you know, humanly speaking, we could have been tempted to doubt God. Just like this, what the psalmist went through. He felt left out. He probably felt that, Maybe even his own name is no longer found in God's list. He wonder, you know, could it have been maybe he sinned against God or done something so bad, you know, that he has really missed the mark this time. You know, what about for us? Maybe sometimes we promise God something and uh, maybe we failed him big time. And uh, then after we just resolute that to say that, no, God has forgotten about me. You know, God has turned his hand against me. Why is he not answering my prayers? Maybe I've done something to deserve this. Maybe God is punishing me. You see, the psalmist was so discouraged. And you know, even in today's context, it could have spiraled down into something such a serious, maybe even a depression in today's context. I could almost imagine and relate to it you know, at moments when we can't feel God's presence, when we need Him the most, when we are so desperate and we are, we are so lost uh, without answer, yet it is almost like not even a hint of rescue. What would you do? You know, uh, what would you? Would you second guess God? Would you say, that's it, Lord. I'm done with this. I give up. I'm tired of believing. I'm tired of faith and hope. Well, that's exactly what the psalmist felt too. He was dead honest about it. But I'm really glad that he did not stay on murmuring or stay uh, negative in his thinking. You know what he says? He says, but, look at verse 11. He says, he says but then I recall all you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. You know, sometimes God may have pulled his hand away from us for a reason. We don't know why. We don't always have all the answers, isn't it? What will you do at that point of time? May I suggest that we don't stay there, but rather choose to respond by recalling. That's what the psalmist did. He chose to recall the wonderful works of God in his life. Yes, we can do the same. Instead of uh, feeling suspicious, uh, we can channel that, that negative energy by remembering God's faithfulness in our life. How has he helped us in the past? How has he faithfully provided for us? How has he brought us through time and time again? God has never changed, isn't it? He has never gone back on His word. Will He not do the same for us over again this time? Don't recall 
one situation, not just recall maybe a two, two situations. You know the he, what the psalmist did here? The psalmist continuously encouraged himself in the Lord. Look in verse 12, he say, he pushes on to declare. He says, they are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. I believe for the experience of the psalmist, it was countless, countless of testimonies after testimonies, stories after stories of the goodness and faithfulness of God. I'm sure you and I, if we dig deeper into our lives, I'm sure we have plenty of experience to thank God for, isn't it? May this psalm passage continue to bring encouragement to us, even though when at times when we are feeling down, when we may not feel that God is near us, when we remember at times we may not sense God's hand is upon us. And for whatever reason that is, remember that God cannot go back on His word. Remember and recall His faithful promise made to us. If He has done great things for us in the past, will He not do the same for us today? Amen. Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. Remember once again, brothers and sisters, that God always remains faithful. Amen. God bless you and you have a great week ahead.